hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome in today's video i am excited i'm really looking forward to start this video and it's something that um not really i haven't really like planned for it but i just thought of doing it because why not um in today's video we are going to i'm going to share with you guys it's a it's a kind of thanksgiving um video just to be grateful to god for this father that he has brought us uh who knew that we will see the end of the year of 2021 and uh that's why i'll be doing this video and i want you guys to do me a favor like in the comment section below just tell me what you're grateful for what um what god has done for you what you have achieved so far because i know that uh in the beginning of the year we wrote some goals and how many of those goals have you achieved how many uh, what has god done for you this far because anyway no one knew that we will be here there are other people who have lost their loved ones you know may pass but as we are here we are alive and god has been faithful i mean god has been faithful and we have achieved so much so so much and i just want you guys to share with me if you don't mind just share just comment of what god has done for you and of what you are grateful for so if you guys don't mind just comment and uh i'll give you some of mine what i have achieved and what I've, i'm grateful for and i'm really excited to do this video because it's a it's a thanksgiving video we just come um and just saying thank you because if it wasn't for god if it wasn't for family if it wasn't for friends um kuna vitu zingine that we will, we cannot do them by ourselves and that is why i'm just doing this video and so that you guys also can share with me some of the things that you have achieved some of the things that you're grateful for and yeah so without further ado let's get just into the video because i'm really looking forward to it so yeah And uh, huh, I love it. 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 Yes. So I've shown you guys my outfit. I just feel like traveling somewhere, Dubai. I'm um, going to the coast, you know. <laughs> yeah. But for one, my first point is uh, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for. Uh, God's protection. I'm grateful for his divine protection upon my life, upon my family, upon my friends and and um, Yeah His word says with long life we lie satisfy you. So I am Among me and my family and my friends. We are among those people that with long life God will satisfy us because that has been a scripture that has seen me through through the year as a, even if you you become sick at what point i'm at what level your your thankful and you just remember god's word that says that ye shall satisfy you with long life and that is for those who don't know that is a scripture from psalms 91 uh, verse 16 but you can read the whole of it because it's an amazing scripture so one i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for family i'm grateful for friends i'm grateful for um a shelter i'm grateful for food i'm grateful like all those things god has been faithful and he has provided the whole year from january till now um the second thing Okay, it's, I'm, I'm, I've said I'm grateful for family and 
friends um and also i'm grateful that we that we are still alive you know there are people who have who have lost their loved ones there are people who have lost um their friends there are people who have lost their family members their parents their siblings like the people who have lost people especially during covid 19 and now kuna ingine sujiata nimesha sa uyo jina but there's another one coming i don't know where these guys get those names from <laughs> like i have no idea but um we are we are grateful because god has like we are still alive from january till now we are here we are alive we are breathing god's breath is upon us you know we are, we are grateful um another thing that is really like really important to me that i should be grateful for is that i am not in debt and i am not in any type of loans where madeni zinanyonga watu huko nje kuna you see the uh, guys from tala um this this other thing this other app is called what this one from from safaricom or kwa jahazi they send you a text even the banks like my bank it usually send me a text like you are you are able you are able to you are able to uh, get a loan of this much and trust me you they send it like after every two weeks wamekuwa kintumia kutoka january hadi sai hadi i think even today i got one but um is it temptations or what i've never been tempted in getting those loans even from a bank i've never been tempted to 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 get uh to download those apps on my phone and just have them with me at indio every time i'm broke i'm every any time that i need cash i just cop up from them there was a day nil gonna skip a classic i was in a match uh, going to work so i'm listening to classic i love for the conversation was about uh, this apps for for nini for loans like akina tala akina sijangi majina zao but those apps you know them <laughs> you guys know them if you use them you know them so guys guys were calling and saying ati hawata wailipa kuna wengine hata 15000 and they're saying like there's no way i'm paying it there's no way i'm paying that thing cuz even if you pay and see that you have enough and then what happens nini mmesha au watu wa hapo wamesha pata pesa zao but what happens to me so there's no way like so many people say they're not paying they're not paying they're not paying and i was like what hey 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 wait 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 it's uh, i'm i'm grateful of first i i don't know if you guys are understanding this point but i'm grateful way grateful sina deni am to i don't owe anyone like totally anyone i don't i i don't own like uh, those apps or the bank and i know it's 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 important especially towards the bank ni it's important when you get a loan from them it's it's good it's convenient and it's advisable sometimes especially if you want to buy those assets assets a car a house it's nice it's 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 important when you're building if you're building a a massive building like easy 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 malls am i easy building the new huge and what are all the stalls and whatever trust me you they have taken a loan from the bank and banks are not bad those bank uh, those loans for the bank i they are not bad cuz that's the if you don't have that's the only way you can also grow so they're not bad but i am grateful that i don't have that and i pray maybe at some point in life i'll be able i'll i'll get myself uh, getting a loan from a bank it's not bad but also 
I pray to God that I may not get to that point of when they are alone, kwa bang, ama kukopa, ama kwamba msedo, and nikopeshe, and then pay them at this specific time. So I'm grateful for that. In the beginning of the year, I I wrote a goal and told God that I want to move out, I want to shift, I want to to leave, go like just live in a different location from where I, I used to stay. But um, this is this is really funny because. I, 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 God didn't, God didn't open that door of moving out to a different place or a different house, but he opened a door of coming back home. It's been a struggle. It's been an ear plus of mom, my mom telling me that just come back home. You have no bills to pay and you will be able to save your money but i was like no but god spoke so clearly god you're not even fighting it and i did a video of my life life update like i think two months ago and i just shared with you guys the story but when god spoke and he commanded me to come back home I did I didn't even argue. You can have a conversation with God and umwambie ah kuna venye kuna venye si feel your place ama kuna venye I don't want to go back there I just need my own place and all that. But he it was so clear and it was like Marian just go back to your mom's house. It will be okay. I shall be there. I will provide for everything that you guys need you'll be able you'll help her pay the bills you will save and it has been amazing it has been amazing i unfortunately i don't have any regrets and i'm grateful to god that he made it so clear to me and at a say I, I i don't even want to go back <laughs> at staying alone. Yes, I've stayed alone for like almost eight years and it's nice. Trust me, living alone it's nice. You have your freedom, you 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 buy food or you cook food, whatever choice you have or whatever you want, you do it. You go to wherever you, places you want. Like you have that freedom by yourself. But for now I'm I'm okay here. I'm comfortable and hmm, I am happy and I'm also glad and thankful because I am able to sort out some bills. I I'm not just leaving everything uh to my mom to do it or like I'm able I'm I'm there to sort out some a few bills for her and and I'm grateful. I'm really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for health, good health. Yes, kuna ile sometimes mtu anaweza kwa mgonjwa and um a little bit of pain here, pain there and all that, but um we all become sick. A life can't be just perfect and we we are just there enjoying life to the fullest without without some without some fights <laughs> let me just say that without some fights because sickness is a fight it's a fight that uh, you're sick you need to spend money you need to go to hospital spend money or spend your card spend your energy it drains you and like so many things happen when you're sick but I am grateful. She sent me at this Jaquam Gonja. Trust me, you. There was a time I coughed for two months. Two months. Yeah, amazing. Billy, those are sixty plus days. Sixty to sixty-two days. Imagine. So I'm I'm grateful. I thought I had Corona at first, <laughs> but but now I'm okay. I'm not coughing. I went to hospital. I was given meds, and now I'm good. 
but my point is life can't be just smooth and for us to to not to be sad there's a scripture i think in eclair what well, ecclesiastics it says that there's time for everything there's time to laugh there's time to cry there's time to um um die and there's time to live there's time to be poor there's time to be rich like there is time for everything so there's no time that Utasema at it through your life since you were born till now how joy kwa mgonjwa everyone has been sick and it's just a face that it comes and goes so i'm grateful for that and i'm grateful for also there are some people that i've been praying for and they have been sick and god has seen them through none of them has passed and like sick 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 ya homa sick ya sijui stomach ache apana sick ya cancer and all those things but i am grateful because some of them are healed some of them are still um they are they're getting there they're getting there to that level of getting healed completely and i'm i'm grateful for that i'm grateful for that and i'm also grateful mm -hmm. that i was also able to pray for them because unajua kuna watu unaweza ona tu ni wagonjwa but you you're not doing anything yes uh, we cannot always be there for people who like in terms of we give them money or we give them yeah money most mostly because that's what other people need but we are there to support them we are there to pray for them we are there to walk with them through the journey and it's been it's it's not it's not a it's not a, a fun journey it's not a journey that one can walk alone but also with support of people and with support of family and friends and all that one kuna wenye tu mtu you gain nguvu yeah just to keep on going and to keep on moving so i'm grateful for that and i'm grateful also for those people and yeah just all glory to god i am happy yes and okay this this wasn't in my points but uh, just something i've remembered um another thing i'm grateful for god is for my grandma oh my special grandma he has she has like the most special place in everyone's heart my grandma in in feb in feb and march and i think uh half of april like my grandma has been sick like sick crazy sick but we actually thought <laughs> uh it's those last days that yeah that he she was going to leave us but guess what who is god who is god he just made it he made it he, she made it through like god always has a plan a purpose a reason why you are still alive till now so my grandma is okay she is healthy amaanza kupiga kelele as always when you see see my family is full of speakers but me new lempole but i have that side of <laughs> big noisy and um, like we are just happy we are all alive either those who are near those who are far we are all okay and we are thankful even for the love you know kuna families zingine zenye you guys might not have that relationship with each other but me and my family oh goodness it's it's another it's it's just another level of relationship that us guys have with each other and um i'm super grateful i'm super thankful and oh, oh just saying thank you for all that
Um, I'm grateful for Namaki. Um, for those who don't know na what Namaki is, Namaki is um, all my names put together. <laughs> yeah, all my names put together. But it's Namaki Creatives, and it's a name that God gave me. It's a name that I've prayed about, and it's a name that it's about to make an impact in people's life and just change change things just change things so namaki is it's namaki creatives um it's my business name and um it's um it comes in a package of photography style and fashion so i've started a bit of it when it comes to photo for, for, to photography uh, and for those who don't know again i'm a photographer so you can you can follow me on my ig uh, namaki namaki uh, namaki photography and yeah you can approach me for any type of photography you you would like and maybe come to the new year we can work together and do some projects together so yeah, apart from me being a photographer, I'm also a stylist. Um, I haven't done this a lot. It's something that I'm just starting. I started it in April and I've styled a couple of people, not so many, but I've styled a couple of people and it's something I love doing. Um, just sharing style and fashion with people around me and I style with your own clothes i can sell you with your own clothes and bring out something amazing um the other thing is namaki fashions so namaki fashions is based on um hmm, design i haven't started this yet but i pray and hope that i'll start it come next year so i design clothes and i'm thinking of huh I'll tell you guys, I think I'll just do a video of Namaki, <laughs> but I'll let you know, but um, I'll let you know. Um, so that's Namaki Creatives, fashion, style, and photography, and yeah, um, I'm looking forward to uh, doing projects with you guys as well, so you can approach me and you can dm me on any of my platforms even on my ig you can just dm me and let's work together let's build this society and let's make money as well so yeah i'm just trying to come up with a team of different things so i hope and pray that um by the close of 2022 i will be somewhere with all those things and I will come back to you guys and update you. My last but not least point is I'm grateful for Biashara. Like, um, I, I, I'm, I'm my mom's business partner and we do Biashara together and we are in, in fashion. So we travel, get clothes, and come, and we sell. But we had two shops, one in town and one along Jogo Road. But first we closed the one along Jogo Road, and then after like two, three months, we closed the one in town. And this, I'm talking about 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. We closed both shops in 2020 due to coronavirus, and all of us knows uh, it 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 impacted uh, people and it affected people. It affected people in different areas, and uh, since if if you are in business, you will know this. So we haven't like done. We haven't sold. We haven't. Uh, brought in clothes whatsoever reason even buying online like we haven't for those let's say like two years but it's a prayer that we've been praying with my mom 
But come October, we decided we have money, a little bit of money, so why not just order clothes online? And we did that. So we are back in business. You can follow our pages, uh, Facebook uh, Worldwide Collection, that's WWC Collection, uh, together as well as Instagram. And you can also follow A Game Fashions on Instagram and also Instagram and Facebook as well. So those two pages are ours and um, you can find yourself a few pieces. <laughs> yeah. So our first stock that the first stock that we ordered was in October and we sold. We really sold actually. And also this is how God works. We had some other stock that we hadn't like sold ile in itangwa dead stock. The, now the time we closed our shops we had clothes. So definitely we came home with them. So they're usually in the house. But all that time since we the time we closed shop, actually it's like a year and a half. Since the time we closed shop till October, we have never posted anything. We have not sold anything. So guess what? So this is how God works. So all those months we have not we haven't even thought of let's take photos of these clothes and post them online and see if we can sell nothing but come october when we bought our first stock we did not travel but we bought it online because we have numbers of the guys who the in the shops that we buy from so we just was that yeah took our whatsapp hey kizungu ngomo our whatsapp and then um they sent to our cargo nazika come uh, so the first talk came so when it came we are like ah so we just try taking photos of this old store and we see if we can sell to our surprise to our surprise we sold like yo <laughs> how amazing is god and i am so grateful i am so grateful and i don't know me i'm happy that we are back to business me and my mom we're just excited so we are in december and we just ordered um like last week we ordered a few more pieces and they have arrived so please guys just do me a favor go to our pages we have clothes of people like me like young ladies we don't we do men but once in a while but for now we have clothes uh, from my size to older women so you can get something for yourself and you can get something for your mom or your aunties or your relatives anyone as long as they're ladies so you can get them a piece and the way god works trust me my goal again the goals that we wrote in january uh one of them was say travel to now europe and um those places we usually buy clothes from but but God didn't make us travel. We have we have not traveled the whole year. But he has enabled us to get a little bit of money and just order online. You know the dangerous the, the danger with the danger with ordering things online it's you don't know the quality of the clothes and you don't know the ma uh, the material they have used and you just don't know how they're going to come out when they get here because there's no way you're returning them back it will still cost you money money you bring them and then you want to take them back they'll still cost you money but this time round we have we have done that once and before and the clothes that came, they were really disappointing. And at Asai, but was Asia. Just a, we just sold a few pieces, 
so that's the danger with buying things online but this time round hey me have never me have never seen god like that i've never yes not like seeing god like that but i've never like hmm this is where we are going i'm just grateful to god i'm grateful to god we are back my mom is just the most happiest business woman around she is so happy she is so grateful and thankful for like she's back to business so the only thing that has remained now and we are working on it uh, next year come next year we shall be able to get a shop and even because now we are we are like selling things at home so if any we work with orders so if you want and if you'd like something from us we will come and deliver and also we will yeah we'll deliver it to you and we'll bring it to you and you can feed but kuna wenye pia wanaweza kuja home but also you know you can't accommodate everyone at home only the only specific people so our other goal for next year is to get a shop and we pray to god that we shall get an affordable shop a shop that um it's in a good environment when you have to go customers so that's one of the goals for next year and we are happy i am i think my mom and i know we are at a happy place a happy a happy place for sure yeah i think this is my last point of god i've, I've seen a financial breakthrough in my finances like I was looking at my statement the other day and my whole year statement and who sai nikitaka kwenda kwa embassy kupewa visa and they just look at my statement ah they don't even think twice like yo take your visa you are <laughs> but I am grateful and I'm really really grateful cuz I can't I can't tell you where the money came from. I just pray and money comes or I just pray and I get a project to do and money just comes and I'm grateful. I'm grateful, I'm grateful more than grateful and I am happy of where God has brought me in terms of finances. My prayer has been financial breakthrough and as you look out like every month i've seen that god god has god has brought it forth for me and i think this is not my last but maybe my last video that i'll do in 2021 and i just want to read for you guys my scripture for the year Um, my scripture was from Psalms 112:2, and it says, "His seed shall be mighty upon the earth; the generation of the upright shall be blessed." So, I've, I think I've seen God's blessings the whole year, and I'm grateful. I'm happy, and I'm at a place where I cannot complain. And I have not achieved all of my goals, but I have achieved a couple of them, and I'm happy. Not all of us have achieved our goals or are thankful because um of something specific but yo be grateful either you have achieved your goals or not either you've done one project or you, you've done something that you wanted to do the whole year be grateful either some things never worked out for you be grateful because trust me you as long as you're alive there's nothing important than being alive and as long as you're alive you've seen the whole year from january to now to december and we are coming to a close of the year we are coming to the close of the year like since then god has seen you through yes you have not achieved this much and yes you have you've been broke yes you lost someone yes uh things have happened so many things have happened 
but art is hard. Eh, we art is hard for real. <laughs> art is hard, but we are grateful. We are thankful, no matter what. No matter what. Oh, one more. One more thing that I'm grateful about is I got my driving license. It's been a struggle. It's been a prayer item. It was stuck. I don't know where. To do what machine and oh my goodness, like I think four to six months and my DL wasn't out. So just uh, last week I was called. Not called. I just said let me just go try maybe it's out <laughs> hopefully Liliana Nikimba favor 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 and I uh, just hoping that it's out so I went to their offices at uh upper community NTSA Kuna offices out Papo so I went there and I was told it's it's out yes it's out it's showing in the system but iko haiko uko sasa iko GPO. So I had to go to town, GPO, and yeah. Actually, after an hour, that's when I got it. Because when you go there, you give out your ID first, and then they check for you. If it's out, they they look, they wanna put off tier, ala wanna quit here. But now mine, it was in the system, yes, but. I, it took one hour before I it took so long those guys we had given IDs with ah walisha itwa na wakasha enda kitambo ah government of Kenya please change your ways <laughs> me I don't know I actually knew I'm closing this year without that DM but God is faithful and I was granted my DL and I'm happy I can drive around now okay I could have still driven but kuna venye iko kwa system but I was really comfortable when I get my DL but now that it's sorted and I am ready I'm ready to get on the road on the road and the road I am happy so those are the few things very few things I have like a list of things that I will share with you guys but those are the top and the just few of them that I wanted to share with you guys so comment on the comment section below and tell me what you're thankful for uh, how God has seen you through since the beginning of excuse me since the beginning of the year till now and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't subscribed and click on the notification bell so that every time I post a video you'll be among the first ones to get notified. So click on the notification bell, subscribe, like this video and share around. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, let's get let's try get to maybe a thousand subscribers and more before Okay, even before next year, Tunaeza, but <laughs> yeah, let's just increase in the subscription and we are at 418, but I, let's get, let's get there. Tuangezeke, tuangezeke, tuangezeke and we become huge and Marianne Karaoke becomes a brand. Let's just get to that level and I can't do it. I can't do it without you guys. So please share. Tell a friend, spread the gospel, spread the word to Wananchi wa Kenya, Wananchi wa Indonesia. Just share around. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. And also thank you for coming back if you are a comeback subscriber. So until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.